Okay, page 90. Today is Jan or February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day, and we are on page 90, okay? And we are talking about prefixes. What are what is a prefix? What is a prefix? What does the word pre mean? What does preschool mean? Yeah. Pre, re, or e means to do it again. Pre means before. So a prefix is something you put before a word that changes the word. Okay, because if I have the word school and then I put preschool in front of it, that means like before they come to kindergarten, right? Okay, kid preschoolers are before kindergarten, so that means before kindergarten. Okay. Okay, so we are looking at the these two prefixes, in and un. So remember that a prefix is a word part that is added to the beginning of a base or root word and changes the meaning of the word. The prefix is in and un mean not or opposite of. So so if I have the base word action, okay, um, and I change it to inaction, that means that I don't have lack of movement or activity, right? Okay, so now what's the base word on unsure? What do you think you should write on the base word of unsure? Sure. Good, okay. So you are going to write sure right here next to number two. All right, and what would be a good definition of the word unsure? So what does unsure mean? Okay. Okay, so it's kind of like not sure what decision you should make. Okay, not not unable to make a decision, something like that. Okay, let's see what they put. They put not certain of the facts. Okay. All right, so now, what? I like that, yes. Indecisive. Indecisive. Okay. All right, now we have the word unpolluted. What do you think the base word is there? I think it's just pollute, because we have unpolluted, okay, and I, th the base word is just going to be pollute, huh? So pollution and pollute, so un, if it is unpolluted, does that mean that there's a lot of pollution or not any pollution? Yeah, so I would say... No pollution. It's not dirty. It's not, it's clean, right? Unpolluted would mean that it's like not toxic or it's clean, okay? Okay, so what is the base word of unsafe? But what you're you're telling me the definition? What's the base word of unsafe? Safe. Okay, so if something is unsafe, what does that mean? Scary. Dangerous. I like the word dangerous. Okay.
Okay, uncommon. Common is like you see it every day, right? Uncommon. Yeah, you're right. Good. It's rare. If something is uncommon, it's rare. Okay. Okay. All right, so what's the base word of uncommon, though? Common, good. Unaffected, yep. So what's the base word there? Just effect. Effect. So if something is, if we had a, if we had a earthquake, and I were to say our school was unaffected by the earthquake. Yes. Right. Right. Okay. Good. All right. So now seven through twelve. You use those same words to fill in the blank. Drought is blank in areas that get a lot of rain and snow. Drought is uncommon in areas that get a lot of rain and snow. Okay, number eight. People should be fined if they blank reservoirs. If they pollute reservoirs, good, I like that. Okay, because we have, I think you can use both. You can use the base word, the prefixed word. Okay, so people should be fined if they pollute reservoirs. Okay, so the no, no, it's got to be pollute. People should be fined. So the water in the stream was blank to drink, unsafe to drink. Unsafe to drink until someone dumped. Let's think about this, though. I think we should use the, the base word on this. The water in the stream was safe to drink because we wouldn't want to drink water that had chemicals in it, right? So the water in the stream was safe to drink. During a drought, people must take blank to conserve water. Take action to conserve water. Very good. During a drought, people must take action to conserve water. Action's your very top one. It's your base word for inaction. Very good. We cannot drink our local water because we are unsure whether it is clean and safe. A few people in the Dust Bowl were un unaffected by the drought. Okay? All right, very good. Page 90. Let's get that one turned in. Call it good.